It's going to come down and do a little diagonal strut that goes down underneath the corner of her mouth. And I'm injecting antigrade. It's kind of a stingy place in those corners. And I want, it, I want the direction of the strut to, co to go upwards, kind of to give it that vector of pull. I'm pretty happy right now with the nasal labia fold the way it is, so what I'll do next is come down and do the marionettes. And we want to, or even just the oral commissures here, where we want to get rid of that depression that makes it look like the corners go down farther. So at first I'm going to just come in subdermally with the 27 gauge. I'm going to just turn you a little. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. I'm going to start at the bottom of that depression, and a lot of times I'll push forward as I go, just so I can stay. I can aim. I'm going to go in subdermal, and I'm going to just kind of aim for the very corner of the commissure. I'm pretty deep. This might be a little stingy there up there if it's not numb from the other injection. And I'm going to inject too as I come back, probably more than I inject as I go in. back up and do another little line right next to it. And then I'm going to just redirect a little bit. I want to get this little depression that comes across the chin, and I can just do it from the same puncture. And like always, I just inject slow, because it hurts a little less. and then mold it. And you can always go on the inside too, pinch it and make sure it feels smooth on the inside or I can, a lot of times I just press hard against the teeth to make sure that the inside doesn't have any bulge that will be distracting to them. There's a little pinch. And now I'm subdermal again going up into the corner, medial to the fold just to lift it out. And then you're putting in a fair amount. Probably end up being about a half syringe on each side here. And then going across, just to get this bottom part of the chin. And then I'll come across and do a little fanning right here to lift up the corner and give it a little bit more of a horizontal support. All the way up into the modi all of this. I want to show you one way to lift up the corners of the mouth, especially when there's some redundant skin outside the outside corners. I sometimes come in from the cheek itself 
and come down towards the corners of the mouth using a longer needle. Sometimes I'll start with a 28 gauge and advance to a 27 gauge, one and a half inch. By using these threads, almost like a vector approach, I can bring the corners of the mouth up and I can go up towards the zygoma, almost providing a support structure. Also going underneath the line itself to lift it. And here I'm just directly below the line and usually I'll try to stay intradermal so I get some resistance the whole way up. Even if you have to subsize it a little bit because these are little lines that form too from smiling and there's a little adherency down to the muscle.